Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In this episode, we're going to be rebuilding and fitting the oil pump to the Ferguson 23C engine. It's only a little short video, so I hope you enjoy. This video is brought to you by Emark UK. If you are interested in any of the parts you see today for your own projects, please feel free to get in touch with me via email or Instagram in the description below, and I can supply those for you. Big thanks to Emark UK for sponsoring the video. Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In the previous episodes, we fitted the crankshaft and the camshaft. So what we're gonna do next is fit a new little oil pump. I've taken this off and given it a clean. Now, holding it together onto the um, engine, but I'm gonna fit this to the engine at the end of this um, little video, so you'll see how it all fits. Here is our little oil pump. Obviously, it's driven by the crankshaft, then driven by the train round to the camshaft as well. This little pin goes through there and actually holds this um, sprocket to the shaft. So we take that out, lay that to one side. We've left with this. So if we turn it over, we now have the back side of the oil pump. There is a measurement you can take, which you get feeler gauges. I'll just get that one out. I'm not 100% what it is but generally what we do is get it in there and there is a measurement but if somebody knows what it is if you leave a comment in the comments um, for obviously other people but as I'm rebuilding this entire engine I'm going to replace this piece out that bit comes and then that piece and obviously there's the water the, sorry the oil pump casing if we remember when we first started, it had been sandblasted at some point in its life, all right? Now, that sand has got everywhere. If we can see, here's the original one, and all the little scores in there, from obviously where sand and all kinds of muck and material have gone over the years. And I don't think we're gonna see it very well. The inside of it is very worn, where the sand and different bits of material have gone round it over the years. So we can replace this piece. There's the other part of it where we can see as well where it's worn on these edges here as well. What we're going to do, obviously because we're rebuilding the, the entire engine, is we're going to fit a new rotor and shaft. I supply these if anybody wants one. So what we're going to do is grab this piece and that will lay inside. Get a little bit of oil as well which we're going to put in there this is my um, assembly um, oil but you can use normal engine oil will work just as well so why a bit of that and then that's inside it's really sticky now the other part of the oil pump goes in there when this spins obviously oil gets picked up in this in this hole here and as it spins, that gets smaller and smaller, and then the oil is then pressurized and then pumped all around the engine. So put some engine oil in there or this assembly lube, but we don't want to put it in dry because um, obviously when it first starts up, we don't want metal on metal. We want at least a nice film of oil in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the engine block and then we're going to fit this part. Here we are at the front of the engine. So if you remember when we fitted the camshaft, uh, sorry, the crankshaft, we fitted this carrier and I only had a few bolts which are holding it in. So I'm now going to fit the water pump, which is then going to take up the other two fixings for this carrier. There's bits we could um, have a look at. You could make sure the little bush inside is not worn out. You would have to get something like that especially made. Right? They're, they're not a part that's on the shelf. When the engine is running, our little pump is going around and there's a pipe comes off to here down into the sump. Oil comes through here, gets pressurized with the rotation of the engine, forced back that way and then gets distributed around the engine. So same thing again, there's a little bit of um, assembly loop here, a little bit in there just to help it. We have a gasket to fit on here. It's not a ceiling gasket, all right, so we're not trying to keep anything in. Well, I suppose we are trying to get a little bit of oil in, but this is just to take up any problems we may have with the two surfaces going together. So if you remember when I fitted the gasket on there, I used a little bit of grease, 
and that's what we'll just use again. Absolutely perfect for what we want to do here. Can only go one way. There we go. So there's our gasket. Here's our little um, oil pump, which goes on to into there. Here's a little oil pump. Get all the all the bolts started, all right, before you do them up. You can get a ratchet in here. I haven't got one, so I'm just going to use a spanner for the minute. But same thing. Do them all up even, so this all gets pulled together nice and even. This is our Ferguson 23C engine, all right, the later engine to the 20 20C, but it's got exactly the same oil pump. So within a reason, it is pretty much the same job if you wanted to do this on a Ferguson TEF20. Right, so you just need the little rotor and a gasket. Here's the pump fitted, all right, we've got the other end of the shaft sticking out here. Just put some there, screwdriver or something, and just make sure it turns nice and freely, which which that does. When I took the pump off, we had another sprocket, or we had this sprocket and this pin to go in. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fit those for this moment at this moment in time because I still have to fit the chain sprocket on and then obviously the, the sprocket which connects to there to, 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 um, for the drive to make it work. And it's going to be easier with that off to fit these, which I will do in, a, in another episode, fitting the, fitting the sprockets. All right, so that's just a short little video this time on rebuilding and fitting the oil pump. I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.